Yo, what is going on guys? My name is Rain Dino, and uh, this video is going to be on how to use Nitro Blast on a Mac. Uh, as you can see, Nitro Blast is working perfectly fine. And, uh, you know, see the parameter, it's messing around. And uh, I'm going to show you how to do this, and let's get right into it. So, first thing you're going to want to do is get your... If I just backspace a bunch of times... Um, okay, get your extrude nerves, and... Um, one thing you're going to want to do before you get your extrude nerves is uh, before Cinema 40 is open, go to Maxon Cinema 40, your version of Cinema 40, go to Plugins and uh, drag in the Nitro Blast. Uh, there's going to be two links down below in the description. Get the Nitro Blast and drag that into your plugins. Uh, go into your Cinema 4D and drag in Nitro Blast styles here. And then open up Cinema 4D, go into Edit, Preferences, Open Preferences folder, Cinema 4D, and then drag in your Nitro Blast styles there. And uh, let's, then you should restart some of 40 and, should, and you should be where I am. So uh, get your extrude nerves and um, go up to plugins. And if Nitro Blast isn't here, go to Python plugins Nitro Blast and uh, it should work. And um, yeah, so what you're gonna want to do, you wanna open back up your Maxon Cinema 40 R12 or whatever version you're in. Plugins, Nitro Blast, Res, Varrock, as my dog is whining his ass off, and and um, then open up Terminal, and uh, once you have Terminal up, you want to go back into Nitro Blast here and go to Quality on High Pieces. Let's do like 100, maybe 150, and uh, press Fracture. And as you press Fracture, drag in this MH into this, um, Terminal and press Enter. And as you can see down here, it is breaking or just finish breaking and uh, now you have Nitro Blast. Um, now what we're going to want to do, we're going to drag in a couple cool materials, maybe that for there and I'll do kind of like a lava material on the inside, cubic seamless, go up to MoGraph, Fracture, open up the dynamic, select all these pieces, drag it into the fracture and then you can delete the Nitro Blast part. Uh, and once you have your fracture here, go up to MoGraph, Effector, Random, and uh, there you go. Now you have your Mo, your uh, uh, Nitro Blast. So uh, this is actually a cool little material setup I had here. I've never, never done that before. Uh, I suggest making it maybe like four or five uh, when you're doing it kind of like this, maybe like a crack text. Or if you're going to have it be on the background, maybe make it bigger and then have it behind. Uh, whatever you guys choose to do. Pretty cool uh, little uh, plugin, and um, there are many ways to get for free. Technically, it's not free, but there's so many ways to get for free just by using my download link. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna have this render out, and um, hope you guys enjoyed. I'll uh, catch you guys later. Um, stay tuned for more tutorials, and um, yeah, I'm just gonna wait till this renders out, and I'll show you what it looks like. Okay guys, it is rendered out, and as you can see it looks really cool. I'm going to show you a couple things that I did with Nitro Blast. Um, my couple of my renders. Let's see, this one, uh, you can do it with text. Maybe that'll be another tutorial, maybe 10 likes for this tutorial. It's going to be pretty cool. Um, that There's another thing I did with Nitro Blast, as you can see right there. Um, this is another one I did with Nitro Blast, kind of put it as a background. This is another Nitro Blast render with the white CC. Um, also, I'm gonna do a tutorial on this helix cage thing. It's a, uh, it's Sesso did a tutorial on. It. It's pretty cool. I'll do a tutorial on it. Uh, Ten likes for that as well. And um, yeah, so hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, that's what the render comes out as. Looks pretty cool. There's so many things you can do with Nitro Blast. And uh, I'll catch you guys later. Peace.